In this video, we will discuss about the blood supply to the brain. It is also known as the circle of Willis. The brain relies on a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients due to its high metabolic activity. What is the brain's main arterial supply? Blood is delivered to the brain through two major arterial systems, the internal carotid arteries, the vertebral arteries. These systems join to form an anastomotic network called the circle of Willis, at the base of the brain. What is the circle of Willis? The circle of Willis is a ring-like arterial structure, located at the base of the brain, surrounding the pituitary gland and the optic chiasm. What is importance of circle of Willis? It provides collateral circulation, ensuring consistent blood flow to the brain, even if one of the primary vessels is compromised. Now we will see the components of the circle of Willis. The circle of Willis is formed by arteries, from both the anterior circulation and the posterior circulation. Anterior circulation is formed by anterior cerebral artery, anterior communicating artery, and internal carotid artery. Posterior circulation is formed by posterior cerebral artery, posterior communicating artery, and basilar artery. What regions of brain are supplied by the circle of Willis? Anterior cerebral artery supplies the medial surface of frontal and parietal lobes, and corpus callosum. Middle cerebral artery supplies the lateral aspects of frontal, parietal, and temporal lobes. Posterior cerebral artery supplies the occipital lobe, inferior temporal lobe, and thalamus. Basilar artery supplies the brainstem, pons, and cerebellum. What are the functions of the circle of Willis? It performs following functions. Ensures collateral blood flow. In case of an arterial blockage, the circle of Willis provides alternate routes to maintain brain perfusion. Reduces ischemic risks. It acts as a safeguard against stroke or tissue damage. Regulates blood supply. It adjusts to regional needs by redistributing blood flow across connected arteries.